finally a zero waste toothpaste that has fluoride. This is the first toothpaste I have found that comes in a recyclable aluminum tube that has fluoride in it. It is so hard to find zero waste toothpaste that have fluoride in it. So this is the Hey Humans toothpaste from Target. Hey Humans is a personal care products brand. So right now they have deodorant, body wash, body lotion, and these toothpastes. And this brand was co-founded by Jada Pinkett. They're just on the mission to eliminate single-use plastics from personal care products, which is great. And everything from Hey Humans is under $6. They really wanted to make sure that their products were definitely more affordable and accessible. And the fact that they are sold at Target pretty much shows me that they really value and care about that with their brand. So I'm very, very excited to try these out. So Target unfortunately sent me one of them in a fluoride free version, which you know, I wanted the fluoride version, but I'm still gonna use it and keep it. They are sending me one with fluoride, so that's a plus. But I got the Winter Mint Chill. This is the fluoride free one, so I'll still try it out and let you know what I think. I hope I'm getting the other one before this review goes up. If it doesn't, I'll just let you know how the flavor is. And then I got the Clean Mint Rush with fluoride. They're cruelty free and vegan. They're made in the USA. So just like all of my other zero waste toothpaste reviews, I'm going to look at certain things when reviewing this. What's the packaging like? Is there fluoride? Are there sulfates? What is the mint flavor like? Is it foamy? And what is the price? So let's take a look at the box it came in when it was delivered. Of course, this is from Target.com and it's not necessarily a reflection on the Hey Humans brand, but I will say Target overall has not been the greatest when it comes to plastic packaging. So first off, the toothpaste themselves, there wasn't any plastic. There wasn't any air plastic pillow things inside of the box like I normally see from Target boxes that I've gotten in the past. But with the other Hey Humans products, they came with a bag and a zip tie, which I understand they're doing that in case something leaks, but the whole purpose of this brand is to reduce plastic. And so if we're using like a single use zip tie and <laughs> we're putting a plastic bag over it, that kind of defeats the purpose. So hopefully that can get fixed, but the toothpaste is great. It just comes in a paper box. It has the aluminum tube, which you can recycle, which is incredible. And then the plastic cap on the end of the toothpaste tube is made of 100% recycled plastic waste. So I will be comparing this a lot to David's because David's is also available at Target and it also comes in an aluminum tube, but they do not have any fluoride options. All of their toothpaste are fluoride free but it's really weird how like different the metal containers are. Like, I don't know why, but this feels like a thick metal and this one feels almost plasticky. I know it's metal just because of how I can bend it and it stays. I know it's aluminum. It's just interesting, very interesting, but let's try it out. I'm excited. So there's this little metal bit to kind of keep it sealed. The same thing happens with David's, but on the lid, there's a little like poker guy. So you just poke it. Oh, it's clear, interesting. Wow, okay, that already smells like a normal toothpaste. So let's, let's see how this is. Is it foamy? Heck yes, it's the perfect amount of foam. Is it minty enough? Now, if you've seen any of my other zero waste toothpaste reviews, you know I'm pretty critical about the mint flavor and honestly, this is great. I really like it. It gives you that blast of mint that you look for and it's still there even after I brush my teeth. So now I wanna try the fluoride free version, which is the winter mint chill. And like I said, both flavors have fluoride and fluoride free versions. So that's a big plus, but Target did send me the fluoride free version. So I'm gonna test this out. We'll see how it goes. 
Oh, this one is white. Ooh. This smells a lot mint here. Yeah. Man, I remember being so naive when life was good, weather and palm trees. Back in the day, you were everything I need. But then along came a time when you crushed my dreams. Oh, yeah, you okay. I just tried the Winter Mint Chill Fluoride Free. The first one was the Clean Mint Rush. Now they are different mint flavors, very similar, but I would say the Winter Mint Chill gives me that, uh, how do I describe it? Like, you know when you have a conventional toothpaste and you're like, <sighs> Oh, that is a cool feeling after I brush my teeth. That's what this one gets you, the winter mint chill. This is like a very conventional tasting toothpaste. Might be slightly off, of course, it's not gonna be exactly the same as a conventional toothpaste, but it gives you that like cooling effect of a toothpaste. This is still great and I actually kind of prefer this one. Both are really good, but if you want that like cooling effect of conventional toothpaste, definitely go with the winter mint chill flavor. So that cooling sensation is because of this Ever Rice technology for an icy cool sensation and long lasting fresh breath. And like I said earlier, it's sulfate free. just got the toothpaste with fluoride. I just got my replacement. I'm still gonna use the fluoride free version that Target sent me, but I wanted the fluoride. So we are gonna try this winter mint chill with fluoride. We're gonna see if the flavor is exactly the same or what, but I just wanted to add this little bit in before the review went up so you know what the fluoride version of this is like. don't notice a difference whatsoever, which is a good thing in my book because as you saw, I tried the fluoride free version earlier in the week and I've still been trying the fluoride version for the past few days. It does the same, it still foams up nicely, it still has that cooling effect that I really like. So overall, still 10 out of 10. So now let's talk about the price and I am gonna be comparing the Hey Humans toothpaste to David's because David's is really the only zero waste toothpaste out there that also comes in an aluminum recyclable tube and all the other zero waste toothpaste are tablets. Hey Humans toothpaste is $4.79 and this contains 3.4 ounces so it comes out to about $1.41 per ounce. Now let's talk about David. So David's is a lot bigger. So this is 5.25 ounces and this costs $9.99 on the Target website. For one ounce, this costs $1.90. And just to reiterate, Hey Humans is about 50 cents cheaper per ounce than David's. So overall, this is probably the most affordable zero waste toothpaste out there, just because the toothpaste tablets are more expensive and with toothpaste, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck. So let's get into the pros and the cons. Pro number one is that it is more affordable than any other zero waste toothpaste option out there right now. Pro number two is that the mint flavor is great and it gives you that cooling sensation that a lot of the other conventional toothpaste give you, but a lot of the other zero waste toothpaste do not have that feeling. Pro number three is that it comes in an aluminum tube and you can recycle it. Pro number four is that it does foam up super well. So if you are someone who really likes a foamy conventional toothpaste and if you wanna switch over to a better packaged option, this has you covered for sure. And the last pro is that I think I found the best zero waste toothpaste out there right now, and I found my new favorite. I know that's quite a hefty uh, title there, but I think this is the best, I'm gonna be quite honest. So on that note, let's get into the cons. The first con is that it is still pricier than conventional toothpaste. Is it a heck of a lot pricier? No, but it still costs maybe a buck or two more than conventional toothpaste out there. The cap is made from plastic waste, which is great and amazing and a big thumbs up from me for that. But I would hope this is recyclable, but again, you wanna know what number this is because it just depends on your own local area if they accept certain plastics or not. So 
Then the last con is that when you do recycle this, you do have to cut it open and clean it out because you can't recycle anything that is dirty and has any contaminants on it. So you gotta make sure all the product is out of the tube before you recycle it. So best thing to do, screw off this, cut off the top, cut it down the side, open it up, clean it out and recycle it. Especially for people that are transitioning from conventional toothpaste that comes in plastic and they're moving over to this. That is something to note and something to keep in mind because you can't just throw this in your recycling bin. It has to be clean. So. Keep that in mind. Taking everything into consideration, this is a 10 out of 10 for me, and this really is my favorite zero waste toothpaste now. I love that it comes in aluminum. I love that they have a fluoride option. The flavor is great, it foams nicely. Overall, 10 out of 10, highly would recommend it. So I'll have the link down below if you wanna check it out, and if you wanna check out my series about the best zero waste toothpaste out there, I'll have that linked on the screen. And just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainable make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more sustainable product reviews like this and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video bye